Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Contabo and how to host a WordPress website on a Contabo cloud server. So now we have got our VPS server set up and it is ready to start hosting my websites. But to do that, I need to log into my server and install any server stack or a cPanel or maybe a cyber panel on it. So let's go ahead and log into our server. To log into your server, you would have received an email like this one. So make sure you check out your spam box. Sometimes the email uh, with your login data lands in your spam box. So you can simply copy the IP address and the password and save it to any other place. I will use my Mac terminal to log into my server. So simply I will copy the IP address, type SSH root at the rate IP and press enter. Then paste the password and hit enter. So once you hit enter, you will see a prompt like this. You can start with sudo apt get update. So refreshing uh, the repository is the first thing that I always do whenever I log into any new server. So that you can do also, and that is completely optional. What I am gonna do next is I will check the memory in this to check the RAM. You can just type three dash h. Now it says like 7.8 GB is total and 82 MB is used and 7.2 GB is free. So it's a really powerful server when you when it comes to uh, RAM intensive servers. You can utilize uh, the resources to make your applications and uh, websites faster. So let's go ahead and install cyber panel on this. Simply install cyber panel. Let's go to my article that I've written on upcloud. Here I will just copy paste commands and super fast this process. I will enter into the slash temporary directory and there I will download the installer from the official cyber panel website. Once it is downloaded, you can make it executable by this command. After making it executable, you need to run this script once and will start installing the panel. As you can see the installer has initialized and now it will ask you to Install cyber panel, yes. Install cyber panel with OpenXP. Type first one. You can choose Y. Then no. Enter key to continue with the latest version. So I will en press enter so that I will continue with the latest version. Now you need to set the password or choose any default or random password here. I will click on, uh, I will choose S. Let's uh, use any password here. So I will choose my password. It's asked me, do you wish to install memcaching extension? I will say yes, and this redist also yes. Now the final prompt, it will be asking about the watchdog. So, Default is yes, I will press enter and it will say yes. Now it takes like 15 to 20 or maybe 30 minutes also to completely install and set up this cyber panel. So I will pause my video here and I'll get back in this video once this is done. Trust me guys, this is taking a lot of time. It is almost like 30 minutes I'm waiting for 
uh, it to complete the installation and thankfully it is almost complete now you need to have god level patience before you start installing cyber panel on a cloud server so make sure you have a cup of coffee or some snacks with you i'm just fast forwarding this video so that you can So guys, once the installation is completely done, you will receive a prompt like this. Here, I will just simply type no, it because it's asking me whether I would like to restart my server now. I would say no and press enter. Now, the next thing you need to do is uh, you have seen this prompt say cyber panel successfully installed. And here are the admin username, password. Password is what we actually set at the time of installation. And now you can just copy this and keep it in a safe place. Now, since our installation is complete, let's go ahead and check for uh, the server load. Like you can see, there are four cores on the CPU. 7.79 GB of memory, which is 4 GB of swap memory. So, so the installation is complete. And now we can go ahead and install WordPress on this Contabo server. To do this, now let's first log into our very own cyber panel. To do this, you need to Copy your IP address and write 8090 as port. Sometimes uh, you won't be able to visit this in Chrome because of tight security do this what i usually do is i log in to this in safari or mozilla then it works so go to a different browser like safari paste it right here and then you will see this now i will just click on view this website visit website I just need to trust this certificate so that I can go ahead and visit my server panel. Now our cyber panel is ready and here's the login screen where you can just type your admin username which is admin and password and click on sign in. So guys, we have successfully uh, installed Cyber Panel on this Contabo server, which it was Ubuntu 18.04. And now you can host your websites on this Contabo server with ease using this Cyber Panel. To do this, simply click on Websites and create on Create a Website. Now here you need to select a package, select the owner, write the domain name. For now, I will type in whistle.co, add your email. This is like adding a cPanel inside a WHM admin panel. So you can set up SLDK, IAM, OpenMail, create mail domain, everything. 
when you click on create a website it will add the website here What you want to do next is to set up the domain uh, name records to point on. Uh, next, you need to set up your domain name records to point on this IP address. To do this, open your Cloudflare account or your domain name provider access from where you have, you have been managing your domain name records like DNS servers. I'm managing it from Cloudflare, so I will log in to my Cloudflare account, go to that domain. Here I will choose my website and move to the DNS records. And here you can see all my records are here. Now you need to change it to the Cloud Contabo Server's IP address. So copy the Contabo Server's IP address from here. And then you can simply add it right here and click on Save. Now uh, let's get back to our cyber panel where it says uh, the website is successfully installed. Now you can go back to website and click on list websites. And there you can see the website is added right here. You can click on manage. It opens in a new tab where you can manage this domain and you can do a lot of uh, then you can do a lot of uh, options here you can customize a lot of things like config configure uh, vhost config file uh, add rewrite rules add ssl and even change the php version more you can also um, visit your file manager and also install wordpress so to for this video we will be installing WordPress on this domain. To install WordPress, simply you need to click on install WordPress and simply type in the blog title, login user, a password, an email, and leave the path empty to install in the home directory. When you click install now, it will start the installation process. So as you can see, it says successfully installed, but there is one more step. If you, if you created the website before adding the DNS record uh, to your Contabo server, then you need to reinstall the SSL certificate because the chances are that you don't have a SSL certificate on this website. So again, just click on this issue SSL icon and it will take a few minutes to install the Let's Encrypt free SSL certificate on your domain. Once it is done, you will see the success message. You can see it says SSL successfully installed. Now let's open our website. As you can see, this is loading the default WordPress website. Now you can go to WP Admin and log into your website. So as you can see, the dashboard seems to be pretty fast. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit a like and uh, click on the subscribe button. And in the next video, I'll be talking about 
the speed test of this WordPress website. I will also install a few plugins and set up it as a demo site so that we can make uh, our speed test on this server. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this. Bye bye.